Hi everybody, JVB here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create differential packages with Zarf. You might use these to create smaller packages if you're doing like sm slight updates to images or you have uh, multiple packages that share a, a set of images. That way you're not copying images and repositories um, over the wire over and over again in your air gap scenarios. If you haven't installed Zarf already, you're gonna need it. You can go to zarf.dev, click on the install now button, and follow the instructions for your machine to install Zarf onto your machine. You'll also need for this example, uh, the Zarf source code. If you go to github.com slash defense unicorns slash Zarf and go ahead and go to code and clone the repository. I've already done that. I have Zarf installed on my machine, so let's get started. So I've already now, so I'm here in my source code, in my Zarf repository, we're gonna use a Longhorn example today. We go to examples and Longhorn. So to create the differential package, we'll need a package to work off of. So let's review real quick the Zarf YAML for this Longhorn demo. And what we're gonna to try to do is avoid copying all these different images over, um, over and over and over again. So let's assume that we have an update to Longhorn from 140 to 142, but we don't need to update any of the other images. Now, I don't know if that's what happens from a Longhorn update from 140 to 142, but we're showing off the differential package feature, uh, not Longhorn here in Zarf. And you'll notice I don't have a cluster created. We don't need a cluster for this example. This is a CLI example. So we'll do a Zarf package create with the local directory. And again, we'll create this very large Longhorn package. This will take a second or so. And we'll fast forward just you know, to save you some time. Okay, we now have our Longhorn package uh, that we'll use as a differential for the package. You can see here, it's actually quite a large file. Uh, running at about 759 megabytes. So let's go ahead and create the differential package uh, with the differential flag for Zarf create. Actually, first things first, we need to actually modify the Zarf YAML uh, for a new version. Let's go ahead and um, go into the Zarf YAML file. And we're going to change everything from 140 to 142. Now, one thing of note, this 140 here in the version, that has to change too. If I try to run a differential package or create a differential package without changing the version number, we'll have a problem. And I'll show you what that looks like just in case you run into it. So we'll do a Zarf package create with this, with the differential flag pointing back at the current Zarf package itself. And because the YAML file here hasn't, hasn't changed yet, it'll immediately fail. We can see here, fail to create package must be a differential package uh, with a different version. Version must be incremented. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna use my little uh, global replace here. We're gonna replace one four zero with one four two. And we'll walk through each one so we can take a look at it. So we'll replace this one in the version number. Uh, we can replace the environment script, uh, replace the chart version, and we'll replace the various images as well. All right, nine substitutions. Let's save this file. And now let's create the differential package. We can see here, it's gonna tell us what it's gonna create. You'll notice a much shorter list of images. It's just the images that have changed. So the differential feature works for both images and repositories. Let's go ahead and create it. I'll fast forward again, just to uh, you know, save you a little bit of time. Okay, we have our differential package created. You'll notice it's a good deal smaller than our non-differential 140. But let's actually compare it to a 142. So we'll create this, and again, I'll fast forward. 
Again, well, this time we won't use the differential flag. We'll have it package everything together into a 142 package. Now it's done. Let's take a look at the sizes. And just like that, you'll notice the, the 140 differential to 142 is a lot smaller than the 142 straight up. It's actually a little bit, it's, it's a little bit, uh, the 142 is actually a little bit larger uh, than the 140. So that's just code added to Longhorn between the 140 images and the 142 images. So with that, you now know how to create differential packages with ZARF. If you have any questions, you can go to the GitHub, leave a leave an issue if you have a problem, or if you go to the Kubernetes Slack, that is slack.kubernetes.io, and look for the ZARF channel, you can ask questions there. Until next time, see you then. Bye now.